I'll see if there's at least two token leniency. Hold on, can I do this? I can. Okay, so there was that clue on the table. I don't want to ignore that completely. I wonder if that shape in the upper right means anything. Okay, so it's another of these. Um, I see the door. The exit is just, like, hiding in the something. This actually will be fine. He says, not knowing anything. I don't know, this doesn't look too bad. Uh, what have I actually done though? Okay, so I need to offset by... what now? There was, like, text on the bottom for a second. I didn't see what it said though. Okay, so I'm kind of just taking the path of least resistance with the way I'm starting here. Maybe that's a mistake. Uh, that's just undoing what I did. Um, no. How do things differ if I go that way? So this rephrases, so that splits apart to the right by one. Whatever operation I did there was one split. So now I think I need to switch to the vertical one. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna go up. And also up. And then... Left, I think? Other way. Right. Okay. Okay. That will result in the correct shape. Um, I can cause this to happen from the other side, I believe. Mm, can I now? No, that made the wrong shape. Okay, so I do want left. Okay, hang on. So I was here, I pushed this up. I just kind of blundered into this solution. Um, yeah, I see how this is going to work. The question is, can I get that far enough to the right to make it happen? The answer is yes. Uh, if I do it differently, I can't do it differently. I have to do that one first, but how would that happen? Oh. Got a potential problem here. Hold on, why am I doing this this way? So I moved it all over to there. Let's not do that. Let's inst Oh, because I can't move it vertically here. Maybe that's okay. What if I leave that there? Move it around and push it down. Like that made what I wanted. So I put that in that way. I move it around. Maybe this is fine. Maybe that can just like undo itself later. That didn't go to the right place. Hold on. How did I do what I did? Okay, from this state. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's just assume I needed to do that step. I'm gonna go down. Wait, no, but, I, but I, I'm just undoing what I did. Uh, see, I feel like I need to enter from the top or the bottom right now. So I, it seems like I do need to switch over here, but I was doing that operation without having switched. So, wait, how did I do what I did? So I didn't do that. Instead, I can like, yeah, there's, there's some short circuiting I can do here somehow. So if I go like up and over and then push this one down, that results in something I like. Yeah, so I've had this before. Ah, but to have the result I desire is impossible because of that upper right one. So I need to like buffer that away while I do this operation. Okay, that's doable. Okay, so that A that's up there right now just needs to exit out the top or uh, enter from the bottom and exit out the top. 
the other A, the one that's on the left, uh, nothing moves around itself correctly. Oh boy. Okay, this is getting very confusing. Okay, I think from here I can make the shape I desire. I just have to do it carefully. So if you go down and left and up, that's one that I like. Ah, but I don't like it yet. First, I need to go right farther than I can go. Yeah, whatever I do, that one A is kind of in the way. So I guess I'll just have to, like, rotate it around somewhere else. I need to... Mm. Okay. I have a better idea of what I'm doing here. <laughs> guess you're not fitting the power cell in today. <laughs> I'm just in, like... The post game or something here. That's fine. It's cool, but oh, um, maybe I shouldn't start on the side that I started. Let's see if it's yeah. It's gonna be easier to just insert it here. Just make the shape how you want it. Maybe I won't be able to make it entirely. Maybe I will. Well, so so hang on. So I I go here. I create that handle. And I'm just going to manipulate things using... No, I need more separation first. So I do have to get some separation first. But from here, you can navigate around and different things can happen. But now that's coming out the top. No, I liked it better the other way. It seemed like it worked better to do this. Okay, so insert that. Insert that, move around, get that out. Now, if I did this, this is similar to a shape I've had before, but flipped vertically, and that's fine. I put that in. I need, like, a bunch of offset on that now. Ah, but the trick now is the way I've inserted that. I've created a situation where I can't avoid this portal. So I'm going to have to just deal with the portal. I can create this, and I like that, but my offset is all wrong for getting that where it needs to be. So I just need to work on offsetting that block. And how do you imagine that would happen? And that's just undoing what I've done. Other way is impossible because things are blocked. So no. No, I'm thinking about this wrong. I can't multitask the way I have been. That just creates a shape I've had before. It's just too cramped over on the right. But it's no less cramped in the top either. They're kind of the same space. So I'm like, doing that part too early or something? So I sort of have the bottom two legs there. What if I do this instead? Is that meaningfully different? I guess that's the question, isn't it? That's done nothing. That's no operation. Well, I think it swapped one A for another A. Okay. Random idea. What happens if I do this? Maybe that gives me more space to work with. No, I can't get the, uh, the left A's into the thing anymore. I don't know, I want to try one more time inserting into the top thingy and pulling out of the bottom. Maybe I just started in the wrong place. So if I do a top insertion here, go left, go up, pull that out. I mean, that's a good shape already. Go here. Go down, go this way. That's not in the right spot. 
Neither is that. Neither is that. Okay, there's a lot of there are a lot of operations I can do here. Whoa. Oh, none of that is right. Okay, but I kind of got to... Okay, so what did I do? I chunked off the top left corner. Then I took the bottom left and moved up and right before moving it. So I switched sides. Okay, so like if I go down... See, now I just can't get around the that thing. What if I accept this? Move here, do this, that's all wrong. This, however, is correct, but that's just undoing what I already did. So I need this, but with the horizontal separation first? I'm not so sure about that. I don't know, maybe I can just accept that for now and fix it later. No, I've done this and it's all wrong, but, but again, maybe this just sort of naturally results in what I need if I just take it to its conclusion. Because that looks good, part of it. Um, then if I just move this up and around, then that makes the exact shape I need. Okay, I uh, worked it out. Okay, I worked it out. How's my move count? Probably bad. Yeah, okay, so 111. Okay, um, what did I just do there? This is an or gate, or sorry, an and gate with a token machine, so I won't be able to fully complete that. I started in the top, so let's try flipping horizontally. Flipping horizontally will result in the wrong shape, won't it? Maybe? Am I sure this shape is wrong? I'm not sure of anything. This might actually... I can't go anywhere from there. The problem is I don't entirely understand what I did. Only partially. So I certainly did that. I moved this around, I pulled that in from there. Like, I'm trying to see if I can just do what I did again more efficiently. I did not do that. I might have done this. I didn't. I did. Right, I did that, I moved this around, and things just kind of worked out mostly. Like, this is identical to my other solution, right? This is going to be another 111, won't it? Oops. So I go this way, I go down, I go right. No, I don't. I go, you have to go all the way around. That's how it is. Well, 107, I mean, I improved by a few. Hmm. There was some text again. I missed what it was. Uh, okay, so can I, like, generalize this? Also, would it work any better to go the other way? So kind of, oops, uh, kind of the core operation is put a corner in, move around, put a different corner in. No, that's the same thing. Um... Or put it put a corner in differently. So I do this. I I, I go around. The Wait, no. This? But that's completely not what I want at all. No, I'd have to approach it differently. No, it just works better to go this. Okay, that's where I start. Works better to go this way. No, sorry. It works better to go the other way. Uh. But I'm starting with upper left, which is costing me some moves, and I'm wondering if I can do better. Okay, so what did I do? I went up there, I switched sides, and I got that out. If I would just accept this and ignore it for now... I mean, last time I tried this, it jabbed me up later because I, did, I didn't do that. 
I don't know, what if that's a fine intermediate state? I don't know for sure that it's not. That part's fine. The other one doesn't look like it's going to be. So I wanted that to like come through the other way. So whenever that left A came through... Uh, I can't move any farther right. Okay, so when that right A came through... Okay, so can I have the left one through first? I can. But then my operations are limited. Hold on, I can go... This way, this way, and do nothing. No, I, I can go this way and this way. I don't want that. I would rather have this. I don't know what I want. That's the problem. Kind of just doing the same things and hoping they'll have a better result. Maybe they will. I don't know. Oh, actually, there are things I like about this. Or what, what things are those? Because that looks terrible. Ugh. I have like nothing to guide me to the right track here. Like I don't I don't know if anything that I'm doing is gonna end up being productive. That was something I ended up not liking. But what was the alternative? This Did that somehow work out? Ah, and if it does, maybe I'm being shown a pattern that I can sort of repeat for... Wait, from a different... Um, if I'm gonna get over there, is there a shorter way? I think that's the same distance as what I did. So those three are correct, but this one's wrong. And I don't have a way to correct it without stashing a different something away. And I'm already at 73, so I'm not saving time here. Like, I just need a, a fundamentally different way to start this that saves time. Okay. So, first of all, let's try working with upper right corner. That doesn't look good to me, but maybe I can fix it. There's no way I can fix that. No, that's that makes the wrong, like, wrong shape here. I would have to, okay, for that to work, I would have to approach from the top. So no, if I'm doing that, then I'm doing it this way. I can't really exp explain what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about here, but it makes sense to me, I think. I think I saved a move by doing that. But then what did I do after this? Was it that? It feels more correct than alternatives. Ah, yeah, and then I did. Okay, so let's try and just improve this by moving around better. No, that's wrong. Wait, if that's wrong, what does that mean? Or do I w uh, Well, that's not right. Or is it? No. Unless... No. Ah! Okay, let's think of it this way. When something goes into a portal, it offsets relative to its neighbors by one in the direction that it entered. 
Okay, hang on. So... Just think of these two as the same spaces, because I'm never pushing, like, from here to here manually. I'm always going through the portal. On portal entry... Yeah, there's definitely text down there. I just can't catch it. I'll have to, have to pause for it. On portal entry... Okay, yeah, so just visualize. So we have A, 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 A. Now we just have A space A, then on the next line, A, A. Okay, so I shifted that A one to the right. I shifted that A one to the right. Okay, this will be easier to think about. No shift has happened. No shift has happened. I want to go up, so that's shifted to the up. Yeah, okay. Um, I do kind of need to do one at a time, don't I? Alright, I think I understand much better now. And wouldn't it be best if only... Well, yeah, that's what I was doing at this point. Only... Um, hang on. So how did I start? Yeah, I think now I get the... Does it say something about cold? Maybe. Shift to the right. That would require... Hang on, I want to shift that one to the right. Okay. Is this path shorter? That's eight. That's more than eight, so yes. Okay, so that path is shorter. So at the top right to shift up and to the right. I want the top left to shift up, I want the bottom left to shift left, I want the bottom right to stay in place. Is one way to think of this. Okay, I think I'm getting it better. So both of those do need to shift to the right, that's going to be necessary. Um. I don't want this to shift up, but I will do it just to get these where they're going. This is not what I want at all, no. Okay, one at a time. That went to the right. Now it needs to go up. So I go around and I do this. Okay, great. That one is in the correct place. Okay. So then... Bottom right stays where it is. Bottom... L okay, top left. Original top left needs to shift up. I guess I do that like that. Feels inefficient, but it happened. Maybe it's fine. Now that it's shifted up. Oh, I need to stop shifting it. Wait, but I can only shift by two. Oh. So parity, I'm understanding better. Then how did I ever do this? Because to go through the bottom right portal and end up in the top left portal is one shift. Then to go back is going to be another shift. So if my cube... No, 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 I'm learning something here. This is, this is actually happening. So if I'm starting like this, bottom right doesn't shift. Top right shifts up and then to the right to get here. Top left shifts up one. Bottom left shifts left one. The problem is if I'm going through the right portal, I'm doing an even number of shifts for each one. And one is not an even number, so these two don't get filled. And yet somehow I had a solution that... went through the top portal and ended up with this... Ah, did I shift by two? Okay, so shifts by two, starting with a square somewhere, like... 
a shift by zero could also be like a shift by two from here. Okay, so... So think of a square originated somewhere in one of these. So I can shift by zero. That's an even number. Like if you are... Okay, yeah, this is interesting. I'm, I'm building a little mental model here. So bottom left, shift down to left, great. Yeah, okay, so that works. Top right, shift down to bottom right, shift right and up. Got it. Okay, that's the principle. Okay. So, even numbers of shifts. Even numbers of I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly at all, but I think... I think... I think I'm getting something. So, hang on, is that message always the same? They tor... something? Be like the... what? Pieces. Little tiny? Be like this, is that what that says? A reason. They torture. Little tiny. No. A reason. Into. I think we got like bits of text I can assemble into a sentence or something here. Break me up. Little tiny. Okay, so anyway, um, I have my shift principles together. <laughs> Let's ignore the ominous messages at the bottom and just do the happy fun soak of on time. So, okay, um... Top left shifts by zero, bottom left shifts down left, bottom right shifts up right, top right shifts down two. Okay. So let's then start from this side. So top left doesn't shift. Bottom right does shift right and also down, so this will already put it into the correct place. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Now, the problem is to shift... No, that's not a problem. Okay, my next operation is this one. I shifted the top one down... Top, top right down by one. Um... Let's go around the... I can't go around the other way. Okay, let's go around the long way then. I can't go around the long way. Okay, so I have an overlap that I can't resolve with. Okay, that's fine. Let's do a different one first then. So the bottom left is shifting down and left. Ah, that I also can't do. Okay, so I'll break off a piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I break off the bottom right. I br Ooh. If I break it in that direction, then I can't ever get this back together. Because for bottom left to shift, maybe I have my shifts wrong. Okay, bottom right could not move. Top left could shift down and left. Bottom left could shift... Uh, okay, yeah, let's try that. So, uh, so to explain what I'm trying to do here, um, I'm going to originate this here. Bottom right shifts zero times. Bottom left shifts up two to end up here. Top left shifts left once and down once to end up here. Top right shifts up once and right once to end up here. Okay. So if I'm doing that... Uh, tell me something. 14 to a push there. More. Okay, so in that case, if the first one I'm inserting is bottom right... No, bottom right doesn't shift at all. Wait, so to shift to the left... Hmm... I think I'm going back to putting everything through the top portal. Yeah, isn't this how it started first, but just if I understand the principle... No, you're not shifting up, you're shifting a different direction. Hmm, how do I do any of the shifts I'm gonna do? I guess I'll do this one first. 
So that goes up and that also has to go to the right. Which, uh, to the right, you say, like this. But no, that's the wrong side of the portal. What? Uh, okay, yeah, if I'm starting at the top portal and ending up at the bottom right, that's one shift per block, and that's the wrong number. So I'm definitely pushing this way. But isn't that not how I did it at first? I'm so confused. Okay, um... <sighs> Just thinking of like shortest path from the initial puzzle state. For top right to shift up and to the right. Yeah, okay, the, where I'm standing would be the bottom right origin of the cube. It has shifted to the right. And I can make it shift up. And that just works. Okay, so that part is very doable like this. However, having shifted that to the right, I don't have enough room to move the bottom left one in. So I need to do that now. Can I do it now? Uh, no. I need like an intermediate state or something because, so for bottom left to shift left. Wait, no, bottom left doesn't shift left. Top left shifts left. That's fine. The left shift should happen on the, okay, hang on. So the left shift should happen when it's at the top. So you go in here, you're shifting to the right. The bottom right one doesn't move at all. You shifted up, so the top right is where it needs to be. If I can get the top left to enter from the that operation I did there probably should be fine. It just gives me an extra lever here to put you in there. I need to move you back through that. No, not that way. Like this. Okay, this is inefficient, but I'm like trying to prove a something. But you can't do your left shift there. Okay, so temporarily... Hey, I just noticed, these machines don't have hint buttons on them. Oh, there are no hints here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, um, I'm trying to do a left shift on you and that just is not happening. So I think my origin is wrong. Uh, <sighs> Uh, okay. There's a way to do this. I've like deconstructed my original solution into something I understand in pieces, but I haven't put the pieces back together into something I can actually use. Since I'm having so much trouble shifting things to the left, let's just not. Let's do a zero, a two, a two, and a four instead of a zero and three twos. That sounds less efficient though, but maybe it'll be more possible. <laughs> okay, so now my goal is to have bottom left not move. Top left, shift up and to the right to end up here. Top right, shift right and down to end up here. Bottom left, shift right up, right up to end up here. Because that just seems like it's going to be more possible going in the same direction all the time. Let's find out if that actually ends up being true. Okay, so you're shifting right. Good. You're shifting... up and right. Right. 
you're shifting up. You will have to additionally shift right and up another time, really? No, that's the wrong one. No, you were shifting left. Or, sorry, you were shift- wait, no. No, the top right doesn't shift right, the top right shifts left. So I want to start down on the bottom. The bottom right... Yeah, the bottom right is the one that shifts right up, right up. Okay. So that shifts right. I have to do this. The next thing that's convenient to do here... Okay, the top right is shifting to the right, so let's go ahead and do that somehow. I have to avoid, like, a lot of stuff to do this. This shifts right. Okay. It might not look great, but it is correct. Top right shifts right and down. Let's do down. Now let's do down because it's a shorter path from here. Okay, that's shifted down. It also needs to go to the right. Uh, I'm never getting top left in anymore. I shifted bottom right right too many times. I just shifted it right twice at the start. That's no good. That needs to be a shift upward or something. Okay, top left needs to shift right, but stuff's in the way. Okay, but I can get stuff out of the way by doing this. Okay, so what did I do? Yeah, okay, I think I need to multitask. Bottom right does need to shift right. Top right does need to shift down. Top left does need to shift right, and those have happened. Okay, that's a right down and a right. Next. Yeah, this is going to be efficient once I can actually make it work. So next step, I need to rotate things around, which is challenging to do. I can't go in there at this point. I can walk around this way. I, I can walk around this way and get here. Okay, who's who here? The order I inserted was bottom right shifts right. Top right shifts down, top left shifts right. The remaining shifts are... I mean, I know this has to happen, but not necessarily yet. It has to happen twice. Does this happen? No, that's not right. Okay, so hang on. So from here... Okay, let's do this again. I need to look at this real closely. Bottom right shifts right. Top right shifts down. Top left shifts right. I say the words, but I don't feel like I understand. That block right there, in the upper left, which is the bottom right. Oh! Hard to talk about. So I, I, if I could point with my cursor, it would help, but I can't. Um, the block that just went through the teleporter needs to go up twice and right once. That block there needs to go right once. It cannot with the one that's there in the way. Okay. This block needs to go down once. Okay, so the direction in which I can do things is first for you to go for you to go up. So you go up. The one that's closest to the top left teleporter right now was the top right. It has already shifted down. It needs to go to the right like this. Okay, that is correct. Now the one that's there now... Does it need to go down? No, it needs to go up. Okay. And how will that happen? Okay, that's actually blocked. I'm doing like too many at once. 
Let's try two at a time instead of three at a time. And this is more similar to the solution I originally did, but like I actually understand it now. So... The next step is this, I believe, and then this. Yeah, I mean, okay, so I've done those things and that makes sense. Does it? Yes. So both of the ones that are on top now just need to shift up and to the right. That's all there is to it. So I just do something like... Oh, I can't. I need a lever somewhere. So I need to, like, leave something so... Oh, hang on. Well, I can... So this needs to shift to the right. This feels like what I've already done. That one will need to shift up. This goes to the right. No, this goes up. No, that goes... Okay, so that goes to the right. And that goes up. And that's what I've already done, isn't it? It's a little better. It's a hundred. So, all right, I reassembled the pieces of my understanding into a working solution. I did gain some efficiency from that. Not enough. <laughs> what is enough? Am I still just, like, fundamentally doing this wrong, I wonder? Or do I just need to iterate on this and do a little better? Could I flip it so that the initial position of that box is fine? If upper right shifted right and lower right shifted up, is there a way I can work with that? When the outcome is the same, then yes. Okay, that's fine. Then I can just change my frame of reference, do what I did already, shift this to the right. Okay, so this is the same thing, just more efficient. Um, what's the quickest way to do the next operation? I'm gonna need to be up there. So what I did there probably wasn't it. Okay, so if I stay down here for most of this, and then I go up there, I pushed it through with 48 on the clock. If I push this through, go through in this direction, I pushed it through the 46 on the clock. Okay, that was a little faster. However, I'm not pushing that through yet. What I need to do... Aha, now hang on. So this, I might be able to make sense of this. Because what I need to do is push up from there, push right from, push, uh, no, this is wrong. Did I do things in the wrong order? So I put this into the right. Next up for that block is to come in from the bottom. This wants to go up, which gets in the way of that coming in from the bottom. So we're gonna do that separately. The problem is, after that, the one on the right needs to come in from the left or the bottom, and it's all wrong for that. Well, okay, so what if then I did this? Uh, that? I don't like the way this looks, but it does have the right shape. Oh no, don't like the way this looks. Feels bad, looks bad. That's over a hundred. Okay, so, so it's like right in there where my inefficiency is. I found a better way to get the two columns together. Okay, so now, 
I guess what I need to do is just... I put this over. And at this point, I just need to use it as a lever to get that there. Then both of those need to enter from the... Oh, hang on. I think that was slightly better somehow. No, I want to end with that one because... Well, because that just routes better. This is what I just did a second ago, isn't it? It's worse. How did this come out worse? What did I do when I had the two columns together? Like, when I had this... Something good happened. Like, I had it like that instead, I think. I mean, I guess... Okay, so here's an idea. What if I do do the thing that doesn't look great, but... Maybe somehow it's just better to do that. Shift right. Oh, I can't do it like that because there's that wall there. Okay, so no. No, I do have to have you in the center. Yeah, so like this is this is this is what I want. But how do I do the rest? Wait, no. I do do it this way. No, I don't. No, that just puts me back where I was. It doesn't. No, it's different. Uh... Wait, I might have done something good here. It's under a hundred. Still not all complete. Ah! What else can I do? I don't know. Oh, that's different. That's better. Okay. Okay. That's quite a lot better. That's still not all complete, though. Really, that much better. So 89's not enough. You want me to go how much faster? Aha. That saved me some moves. Enough moves? Ah, I go to the right instead of left. Still not all complete? What? Can I optimize this any further? Like, this is looking pretty good. So, okay. Procedure is that, that. Then I need to get around to the other side. I don't think I can do it quicker than this. This, this. Put that in there. I need to push it down. pushed it down with 40 on the clock. Well, okay, but then when do I push it left? I pushed it left with 43 on the clock. I pushed it down. I pushed it left with 45 on the clock. Okay, so it is better to go that way unless... No, 45. Okay, so going through there. All right, so we're in micro-optimization territory here. I do this, I go through from the top, I go around, 43 on the clock. Push this here, up, 
I need a left. Oh, maybe I can do this from this side. Or part of it. That might have saved me some time. I go down and do this. I think I saved something. No, that's still 81. It's the same. Oh, here's an idea. What if I go down there? No, worse. Here? Aha! I saved two moves somehow. Okay. Then I go back through. Go right. Go through again. So this will get me a better score. Alright, I've optimized my movements as much as I feel like I can. All complete at 79. There we go. Okay. I learned a lot from that. That was actually super cool. Okay. Efficiency challenges are meaningful because I just kind of blundered into a solution for the non-token one of those, but like the the move limit really added a lot to that puzzle. Like, I'm impressed with how much that changed it. I had to completely pick apart my understanding, resynthesize it into something that simplified, and then repeat that several times, working out all the kinks. That was fantastic. I'm really happy with how that experience went. By the way, that thing, that uh, battery-powered relay thingy in my inventory discharged very quickly. I charged it up once, and there was a little bar there that I didn't notice going down until quite a while later. Hang on, what's this? Fuse box, right. I don't have a fuse. Got it. Okay. Wow, okay. So, <laughs> what a thing to one more puzzle into. That ultimately, I think, took about as much or more effort than uh, the first nightmare puzzle over here. It's probably more down this way. Yeah, okay. So there's a, there's a that. This isn't a token box, is it? This is not a token box. Oh. Oh. Wait, F? G? There isn't a G here, so this isn't where that table clue was. Why am I still looking at things? Okay. <laughs> this is fascinating. Man, this game just, like, never stops surprising me. It's amazing how much is done with it. All right, I'll see you next time to probably tempt this machine, and uh, that will not get me to anything new. I will be forced to come out of here because I have a token toll and also a fuse box, presumably preventing further progress. But I've done what I can now. I need a bunch more tokens to activate that wire. Yeah, okay. And uh, that's the limit of it for now. And then there's this. I don't know what that's about. Let's fall down here just for fun. Whee! <laughs> All right, yeah. So one more machine I can actually access and do stuff with. I'll try that next time, then we'll finally go up and actually put in the power cell. <laughs>